are in Chelmsford today. I got a call from an old friend who's got a rental property here that has this old, we call them snowmen, 100 year old boiler that's covered in asbestos that had a catastrophic leak, leaked out the side, but the flame didn't go out and the boiler continued to heat until flame was coming out of it. And you could see here it burned away a good section of it before anybody caught onto it. So we're gonna have to find, and this is a gravity hot water system. We're gonna have to find a, a hot, hot water boiler that can fit in this spot here. He's gonna have to have this asbestos taken off before we can do anything. And you can see inside of it, uh, you really can't because there's another light. Hold on, let me get a flashlight. The boiler cracked, and you can see in the back wall the cracks. And flame was shooting out of the sides of this. So this was almost a house fire. So Michael and I have to find some way to fit a gas hot water boiler in this place and tie it back in. All right, back here in Chelmsford, hoping to get this boiler in here today, but we were held up because of asbestos. And we still are waiting to get in. They have the whole thing tented off. Hopefully this will be done soon so we can get started on it, restoring heat to this old house. And we got a better view of where this blew apart. Here's a good, here's a good view of where this thing, one of the spots that blew apart. That's right through to the fire chamber. Big blowout in the back right here. That's the water line, don't bend that. Another, another big crack in the system. Right along here. Another blowout in the back where you can see <laughs> This house should have gone up in flames. Gravity hot water, straight street pressure in, no backflow valve, no pressure relief valve on this boiler. And this boiler failed, since, has been working since 1905, and it blew apart, cracked out the back, it knocked all the asbestos off. This was a catastrophic situation that I'm shocked that the house didn't burn to the ground. You get around the back here, you can see. Look at the two, like it just blew out, blew apart.
right, here's the completed project. Got it up and running today. New Pure Pro Advantage, three section cast iron. There's our gas line. Because we had all these old radios, I wanted to put this Y strainer in here to keep some of the sediment down and rust and particles from getting in. That around here, pumping away. There's our auto feed backflow circulator going up here. We twin together this, the two supply lines. I added individual isolation valves so that we could individually isolate and purge. No more fire hazard. Carbon monoxide smoke detector in place. With the help of our master electrician, Mr. Bignani. There you go. Merry Christmas Eve.